Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2010 International 7600 Workstar dump truck. This dump truck has a 10.8 liter Cummins and an Eaton 8 speed LL. It is a 16 foot steel dump body on the back, it is a tandem axle. This truck only has 72,000 original miles, it was a previous rail truck as shown the rail gear is still intact. But overall this truck is very presentable, we had the bed sandblasted and painted in a nice textured bed liner material it looks awesome it's very rugged and it's ready to go to work this truck runs and drives really well it's a heavy spec truck and it has a pretty cool body that body only sits about seven feet tall so you can load it easily with a skid steer or a loader very uh very maneuverable with this truck but we'll take a look inside the interior here it's in nice shape no major damage inside here as you can see the floor with the exception of my dirty feet is uh really nice nice black color the driver's seat's in good condition we have air seats on both the passenger and the driver and we'll jump up in here again this truck has 71,922 miles at the time of this video so just under 72,000 original miles on this truck it's a baby just getting started We'll go ahead and start it up. Motor sounds <clears throat> sounds great. It's got plenty of power. I've driven this truck. Overall, um, everything functions as it should. It has a dash switch PTO there. AM FM radio, hot heat, cold air. Got some different work lights throughout. Obviously, it's an air brake truck. And we, here we have the 8LL Eaton transmission. Our dump body controls is on this lever here. We have our tailgate locks there. And our tarp, which I cannot get to work, is there. Could be user error, but I cannot get it working. Otherwise, the interior is in really nice shape. The floor, dash, headliner's not sagging. Overall, everything inside of here is just in really good condition. We do have some lights on the dash. We'll get those taken care of. These trucks tend to sit a little bit. Sensors go bad and whatnot. But we'll go ahead and turn on our PTO. It's dash switch there. You can hear it coming on. And we'll go ahead and raise this body. As a single cylinder, it's a huge cylinder, lifts way up. Uh, the bed hasn't been used in a little while, so it's a little jumpy, but uh, with some use. And plus the sandblast doesn't help either, but that's good enough. You can hear that motor sounds great. Good old Cummins, reliable. We've got buyer's boxes on either side. This frame is in really nice condition. This truck was not used for snow removal or any type of hard work, you know, probably just millings and, and whatnot and some rock for uh, the railway railways, but it's just a really nice truck. That frame is in excellent shape. Again, not a plow truck. If this was a plow truck, this frame would be really compromised, but this is in good shape. Little bit of surface rust on the bed underneath. The cross members are very, very solid though. I don't notice any rust or rot. You know, that's just some paint peeling back, but do have a couple holes in the bed that could easily be patched. I think there's only two or three of those holes where something had punctured that, a rock or stone or something. Uh, but you can see our air tailgate locks back there. This bed's really in nice, sharp condition with no major rust or rot. All of our tires back here are in light brand new condition. Plenty of tread remaining. And uh, overall, I'm really happy with the undercarriage of this truck. It's pretty much rust free, as rust free as you're gonna get. You'll see the railway gear here is still installed. That could be removed. But this bed liner material is what we usually do on a, on a black bed like this, and it is awesome. It's very rugged, rigid. You don't have to worry about dirt. It's a, uh, a really nice 
coating that we're adding to it. It has been sandblasted and painted so it got rid of all the surface rust and it's going to protect this bed for a long time to come. Now if you see the pictures, I do have the tailgate unlocked. Those locks function 100%. We've got a rear, rear panel hitch here with some wiring and it does have glad hands to the rear. Inside the bed, you'll see it's in nice shape. Just a little bit of wave, but really a, uh, looks like a low mileage bed. It's on par with the rest of the truck. We'll step back a little bit and look at this thing. Really sharp truck, really presentable truck with the white cab and the black bed. I love this combination. This truck is a one owner truck, low mileage. You'll see a little bit of uh, sandblast from uh, from the surface rust, you can tell it was sandblasted, but that textured paint really looks nice. Really happy with how this truck turned out. But again, underneath, all these cross members are extremely solid. You have just a couple of holes to deal with, um, but not from rust or anything. Just looks like something punctured it, but really a nice undercarriage. A little bit of surface rust on the frame, but really a, uh, a beautiful, beautiful truck underneath. Again, all these tires, the rear tires at least, look like they're brand new. Very minimal use on those. Buyer's box on here. And the front tires are in good shape as well. We'll get to that. But again, this is a 16 foot long dump body to the top of the bed when it's, when it's down is seven feet, so you could easily loaded up with a smaller piece of equipment it's very desirable taking a look at the front here the cab is in nice condition no major fiberglass damage and uh, really nothing to fault the front clip for anything got an aluminum fuel tank there now this bumper does stick out a little bit uh, due to the rail gear and PTO but this is what it is, but there's the rail gear. Again, this stuff is removable. Just a really sharp truck, low mileage. Ten point eight liter Cummins, eight LL. I mean, this truck is what everybody wants. It's a desirable bed. It's a very low use one owner truck. You know it was maintained well. Fleet serviced and maintained. This, these trucks just do not come up too often. And we are happy to have this one. This one is in great condition, presentable, inside and out, ready to go down the road and do whatever you want to throw at her. But you can check this truck out for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. We can ship this truck throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland, just outside of Baltimore. We can be reached at 443-303-2821. And again, I'm Brady. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have on this truck. Thank you for watching.